Hey up everyone, and welcome back to the North for the next episode of Battle Brothers Modded on Legendary Difficulty with the famed cultist, the Bellends. So I'm actually recording this quite quickly after finishing editing the last episode because I'm trying to catch up on my recording schedule, so anything that anyone has put in the comments for episode 13 won't really reflect in this episode, although I am probably going to cut this up into two recording sessions, so there might be some things that change like halfway through this episode, but... Big aim for today is mainly get this up to 2250 so we can finally unlock the next batch so we have more people that we can hire or there's more space that we can hire. So fingers crossed on getting there. Also just general leveling up as a whole and better weapons because we need to be better outfitted now because we're just not really... We can kill Arc Warriors but not like a massive amount and Behemoths and Warlords are just scary in general. I mean they are regardless anyway in like the late game crisis. But we need to be better, and we need to get some better stuff in general. So we're going to see how it goes. Um, there's not really much going on at Trogon Shard. There is one contract, which I might do, but I'm a little bit undecided. A little bit of me kind of wants to go to the south to see if I can get, like, a better sling. And maybe, like, just do a few things around there to see if I've got a better chance of finding some locations with some famed items. Because I would like to find one today, because it's now episode, what, 14? It's quite late in the game now, and uh, we haven't found a single one. It's kind of weird. I think I'm going to take, like... At least the first half of the episode, maybe taking a break from the group. Unless it's like an absolutely amazing contract that appears that I can actually utilize other groups on the map with to help. I just feel like I need a bit of a break from seeing green skins for a hot minute because it's not been great. The noble houses don't really seem to be of much use in this run, like at all. Oh, well, it's here. Well, buddy, you uh, you converted just at the right time because it's, uh, it's time to go. He, uh, he knows that you read all about him, and he is grateful that uh, you took him into your heart so well. And now, you get to join him. Goodbye, Ajax. It was fun. Ajax is chopped to pieces until they have but a torso and head. The blood has emptied across the ground, and yet there's still light in the eyes, and a perverse smile upon the face. You take an axe head and run it into the throat until Ajax is no more. Every body part is separated and put upon a pole, caked in grease and lit a flame. You and the faithful dance beneath the pyres as the night comes and the night goes. Damn, now that's an execution. That's what I call execution. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, so Ajax has died. No surprises there. Can you imagine if he had nine lives and he was like, I'm okay. So, Battalion Minor Sergeant is now an acolyte. Great. Uber the Eats is now a disciple. That's fantastic. Jimifis is a zealot. Alpine is a fanatic. Quite a few people are disgruntled. Spartacus is a zealot. Cheeky is an acolyte. Surviving is now a fanatic. Harold is a fanatic. Everyone else... If, it's, if disgruntled is the worst, then I can live with it. Let me have a quick gander. Yeah, kept all his stuff. Uh, oh, that's rough. What's that, 120? 140? There you go. Remember, his, where his hat in memoriam? 165. Is that better than something that people have gone? It actually is. What's my... Minus 21. Minus 20. Uh, yeah, wear his stuff in memoriam, my friends. 155, has anyone got worse than 155? Uh, 120, but you don't really need it. 95, but you also don't really need it, per se. 145, 155. Yeah. Okay, but actually, let me just pull that off. And pull that off. Pull that on. Pull that on. Pull that on. Best of both worlds. Okay, so a few people are a little bit unhappy about... What has happened? I kind of get it. So Acolyte is more resolve, right? That's why I'm understanding. And then Fnatic is just five resolve, which is helpful regardless. Um, and then F Disciple is 20 hit points. Is that the difference there? Two for T recovery and 10 resolve. Yeah, so you get Disciple, you get 20 hit points. So Pointy now has 111. So can you imagine when Horse gets to it, he'll be on 131. And when Osso gets to it, he'll be on like 143. Although he's not a disciple just yet. Anyone else jump up? I'm not actually 100% sure. Uh, surviving got Fnatic at 42, so that's kind of okay. Uh, let's see with that. Tallyman 2 figure. Yeah, that's kind of okay. That offsets as Asthmatic. So that's good. Also 148 Resolve, I think we had last time. Okay, I think that's kind of alright. 10 Resolve for Spartacus as well is decent. Cool. And then Uber... God, Uber's got 70 health. That's quite a lot for an archer. <laughs> I'll take it. Uh, Jimothus as well, not doing too bad with the extra result. 55. 55, we're getting there. 
Okay, but unfortunately, Ajax has gone to pay the piper. Ryder's not happy about it. Maybe I should have sacrificed him instead. But I, I weirdly see better things with Ryder. Also, he's my food guy, and I kind of need to keep my food guy. I'm sorry, Ajax. I say I'm sorry, but thank you for playing. Thank you for getting involved. Thank you for your sacrifice. Okay, move a few things around. Change a few armors. I think all the stuff that uh, Ajax was wearing, we are... At least everyone is sort of utilizing it, so he will live on, although I will get rid of this stuff. I mean... I'm good. I'll keep it. I'll keep that as well. I definitely need some food, but uh, what do we need every day? 45. Even with the food preparation thing. Damn, man. Like, we are hungry, hungry hippos. And then some. Weirdly, I think we're, we're good in terms of everything else, so I don't need to worry about that. Is there anything on the cheap that's worth getting? Mm, nope. Not even close. Like, this is all terrible. All terrible. There is a black market, but there is, unfortunately, nothing fame. Not that I'd be able to really afford it anyway, so... God, 25 grand for Lindworm Scales. You're ripping everyone off, mate. Okay, there might be quite a few contracts we can sort of rack off here. There's, like, find a location, return an item, drive off the brigands, armed courier. Also, there's obviously an Orc War Camp, but we might get to that at some point. And then es Escort Caravan. Where's that going? Five grand. But it's going to Mork Top, which is, I think, I think it's the highest map thing on the map, I think. It's one of the highest. It's not Tangborg, but it's damn close. Woof. Five grand, though. Right, let me see what my choices are, then, and kind of go from there. Okay, let's quickly smash this out. There's... Ooh. Mmm, that's going to ruin my renown, though, won't it? I would love to get double the money, but that's probably going to ruin my renown. Okay, to the east and around the region of the Ashwild, let's quickly go and get this payday, just for the sake of this renown. We've got a really... It's dropping once again. Well, suffice to say, we're not doing that. So, an ancient auxiliary, several ancient auxiliaries... Oh, Legionnaire, should I say. A few Ancient Honor Guards, a Necro Savant, and then a few, a few Necro Savant Lords. I mean, even our last series, we had problems with Necro Savant Lords. Jesus. Uh, I don't think we're at that level yet, so uh, I'm going to skitter back, get my payday. But I don't think I'll get double payday, just because I want to keep my renown. What's that? Some thugs, a poacher, a leader, a butcher. I might come back for that, unless that is the place I've got to go destroy as part of a drive off big brigands. I guess we'll see. Biggins? Brigands. It doesn't look like a place that would have a um, famed item, though, because that will despawn if that is the location I need to drive them off from. Guess we'll see. Doing out food, you idiots. No, no, only the employer will learn of this. Out of the way. Out of the way. Right, we got here before the food ran out, thankfully. Um, let me just recover. I got six grand. Okay, that's okay. It's about to turn to the next day, though, so it will go down to about 5-5. Five, five. Did anyone level up? No. Did anyone feel better about getting a contract done? <laughs> I mean, yes and no. Right, where's this, uh, brigand? Oh, it's gone. Return item. Arm courier. Oh, the brigand one's gone. Right, well, let me go return the item. Where art thou? East. And then we might be able to go and then smash this place up after we deal with this group. But I'll see, I'll see what the group is. It's 1,300 crowns. I have no idea what to expect. Thugs, marksmen, raiders, a war dog, a veteran, a blacksmith, and a minstrel. I mean, thugs and marksmen... We'll see. A war dog, not too bad. Blacksmith and Minstrel, not too worried about. Although Blacksmith's really hurt. The veteran is the one to keep an eye on, but at the same time, could get some good stuff out of them. Let's go. Quickly before it turns to night time. Quick, 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 quick. God, there's brigands everywhere around here. I see an episode in the making. Okay, well, at least there's like no elevation against us or for us. So it's even split. Are they going to run us? They are. So I can definitely utilize that. Let's poison up. Not bad. Good start. 43 is not great, but I'll take it. That's almost one of them dead. I'm seeing a lot of crossbows over yonder, so we might want to be a little bit careful of that. Especially because they've probably got a better. Damn! What's that? 57. Okay. That's one at least. God, once again, Harold. We're just going to be at. That's a 71 miss. We're just going to be a joke character. Ends up being absolutely supreme. Our first monster? Mayhaps. Well, horse is kind of a monster. I mean, I don't know. You can cut it in several different ways, I guess. That was 270 misses. It's almost 370 misses. Right, he's either Vex. He looks like he's got better armor. I do believe it is. Right, dead. Getting there. Just get kind of closer. 
Ugh. Yeah, all right. In you go. And we all go. 61 mess. Hey, not bad. Okay, that wasn't great. Right, here come all the crossbows at dawn. Okay, you'll hit one of those. It's like a 50-50, more or less. I guess that's manageable. Right, you stay down there. You're going to be a bit of a pain, but nothing we haven't had to deal with before. Right, go there. Okay. Reading that rights. Oh, bloody hell. Why do you... You get hit so much, even though your defense is actually quite good. It's notable. That was an eight, That was a chance of 19, rolled 14. Sometimes I think we're just going to have a really good fighting day, and then the game decides it doesn't like us very much. <sighs> really? At least I'm not doing puncture, I guess. Still, though... Not a fan. Right, Operation Save Benjamin, because he got hit in the head by a flail. And of course, once again, it was the head, because of course it was. It's not even like our... The brothers are bad. And sisters are bad, should I say, as well. The, just actively hates us. Go like cultists, do ya? Well, get used to it. We're here to stay. I think. Well, frankly... Ugh. I don't know at this point. Keep acting like this. We might not be here to stay. Uh, where can I go? I can there and then get another throw, right? I'll take it. Once again, this guy rolled a six and a three, so... It just... it. Sorry, it doesn't like you. But you don't like him either. Or his friend who's now running. So I guess that's something. <laughs> However you want to skin this cat. Uh, no, stay there. At least the, the wind-up hit him. Mr. Daemonix. Paging Mr. Daemonix. Killing people with rocks is not a nice thing to do. But I will take it regardless. Oh, he must be quite a high-level, uh... Loot player, as they say. Oh, also crossbows. I can get one of these crossbows for Topaz. Hopefully they also have stuff to recover with, because Christ. Honestly, I completely forgot he was here. I forgot about this asshole. Is he the monk? No, he is the monk. No, he's a thug. Oh. Blacksmiths are crazy, yo. Shield up. Gotta be really careful. Of that. Alright, blacksmith down. You're not having a great time either. Ah, yeah. Right, really get into their line so they can stop shooting us. Rider, in there. Start breaking the shield. Start breaking the man. Ben, go that way. I'm sorry. You kind of got a little bit screwed. It's not your... Once again, not your fault. You're on a nine. Piss off. <laughs> well, we know who the problem child is then that we got to deal with now. Uh, can I get any closer down? I just want to go and deal with that. Idiot. When's his chance? Six turns. Ugh. 73 miss. I don't think I got any times to shoot this bastard. I think he's going to attack us first. I did put the shields up though, so hopefully we survive through it. We you know what the game's like. Ooh, okay, all right, he rolled quite badly. Okay, okay, okay. Linus almost got another kill. Not this time, though. I guess we are playing the game of breaking the shield down. Or, surviving is going to stab the bandit veteran in the head. Damn. I mean, I'm into it. Right, you're also going. Nice one. Oh, there's something in the way, isn't there? Oh, but not for that time. Shield up. 5%. I'm not risking it. Right, no shield now, but I have just made him more powerful, so... How'd you miss that? Alright, badly, apparently. 
It's all right, you made up for it. Okay, I have this many more powerful, so the problem is now... Okay, he's dazed. How are we going to get to go first? Oh my god, Demonix! He is on rock time. Jesus Christus. That's like the third high level target he has killed in two episodes with a rock. You killed Orc Warrior as well? I can't remember. You've killed a Geist. You've killed a Hollenhund. And then you've also just killed a Bandit Veteran with a rock. He don't mess about. It's not even a good sling. <laughs> okay. Not too bad. Benjamin got a bit unlucky in that regard. Also, I think uh, Ulrich did as well. He did have to fight the Bandit Veteran, I suppose. But that, that stab with surviving into the head was clutch. Raven will level up. Lyrian will level up. Uh, Topaz will level up as well. Good job. We did get that armor, which isn't bad because I can take the tabard off it. We did get the veteran's armor so I can steal the basic male shirt, the gambeson, and the scale armor. So that'd be really good. I got an arming sword, which is kind of whatever. Um, I did get some decent crossbows as well. So I can definitely at least outfit Topaz a bit better, you know? Yeah, let's collect our pay. But first, let's have a quick look at the level ups. Lyrian, welcome to level 8 or 9. Technically, um, let me go health. Let me go resolve. Let me go the song of life. All right, nice. So now it will be worth it using the loot going forward because that means we can now start doing some mondo healing. I say mondo. It's it's an okay amount of healing. Fine, I'll give you some melee defense. Bloody hell. Anything to do with... Oh, that'll be really good. Yes, yeah, so let's do this. Before I forget, let me do this. And then let me do this. There we go. Okay. And then Raven. Plus four there. I'm not going to take the plus four melee skill. I normally would, but I'm not going to this time. I'll take the plus five in initiative. And I'm going to bump your health up to 60. So that's 70 and 71. That's like pretty hybrid if I've ever seen it. Way of the Rise. Damage is increased by 40%. Piercing type throwing weapons have 100% to inflict arrow to the knee effect, which reduces the target defenses and the mobility. Cutting type weapons have 100% chance to inflict the overwhelmed effect. Blunt type throwing weapons have a 100% chance to inflict staggered. The damage bonus and chance applies to a distance of 3. 2. It's halved at 3 tiles and does not apply at longer distances. I mean, hell yeah, buddy. I mean, that's obviously piercing. That's going to be... Bl I don't know. Cutting. Cutting. So what does a cutting do? So cutting is overwhelm. What's blunt? You throw maces? I never got seen. I guess rocks? Maybe... I don't know how that counts. Ah, oh, whatever. Okay, let's have a look at what else we got spoils-wise. It's not... Other stuff isn't really fantastic, if I'm being quite honest. Before I forget, Linus, let me give you that. Let me give you a weapon instead of poison, because I think that's going to work out a little bit better. Generally speaking, though, you've already got an arming sword, don't you? And nobody else uses swords. We really need... really need, like, a military cleaver going on here. 130 for a helmet? Anything? Oh, yeah, go on. Go on, then. There you go. And then let me just pull that off so I can put the tabard onto someone. Right it. There you go, buddy. And then let me yank this off. That's minus 23. That is a lot. 325. I guess you are going to be a tank. And we are going to get you to Battleforged eventually. In two levels? So we might, we might be able to work it out. We might be able to work it out. At least you're not going getting crushed anytime soon, which is kind of nice. Um, let me see what you are on one. 50. Uh, Ulrich, how are you doing? Also 50. And then minus 6. What's that? Minus 12. I mean, I think we're just going to have to live with the, the drop in um, fatigue and hope that we can buff it out further down the line. It's because I think we need we need to get start getting like over 200 defense in general on like a lot of things right now because it just otherwise... It ain't happening well, is it? Oh, yeah, I'll do that as well. So you're on 300 exactly. Is there anyone who's got worse than 50 as their one? Who, who you know, needs it? Oh, I guess I can give you that for minus 6. 65, 145. Right. Okay, we're good. I am gonna... Oh, God, everyone's, like, really banged up. You're the most banged up, so come out. You go in. Uh, everyone else is still, like, a little bit biffed here and there. I wonder what's here. Thugs, Raiders, and a Monk. And then here is... I think I'm going to destroy both of these places, you know. It's the best chance to find stuff. But I might uh, quickly recover overnight and then attack them first thing in the morning. Let's do that. What's wrong with you? Oh, you've got a broken arm. Bloody hell. 
Where did that happen? I think that happened while she were training, so good job, buddy. And then you still got a Grey's Neck, which I've run out of I've, I've run out of healing supplies, so that's not ideal. I think we can probably manage though. I'm gonna I'm gonna bet that we can manage this without any tools, any medicine, and the current rough situation that we're in. Bloody better be able to anyway. Like I say, I gotta take every fight we can get in the moment just to get some uh, experience. Was that the monkey hit? Oh wow. Usually they're like impossible to hit. Good start. Topaz, you now have the crossbow, so we can actually start working with that a bit. Uh, I don't think they've got any range, so let them come. Let them come. Hiya. 75 miss. Try it again. Better. Hits of the head. Good stuff. Just hit in general, which is not going to make them very happy about it. Monk's going to be a pain, but I'll, I'll manage. Uh, I was actually kind of banking on that in a way. What was that? I'm not actually sure what they just did. They just did like a weird like thing. I, I'm not entirely sure. I mean, it's fine, but... Miss Why are the two big kahunas missing there? Come on now. Come on now. It's time to wake up and smell the coffee. There you go. Well, not that guy. He's dead. Everyone else. Smell the coffee. Except you, you've got no head. You can't smell anymore. Am I being mean? A little bit. Is it deserved? Probably. What's that? 66. Ooh, almost a kill for Topaz. Straight up. Not yet, though. Spartacus will miss 71, unfortunately. Shoot into them. It'll just piss them off. It's kind of funny anyway. Uh, hop down here. Won't scare them yet. That's alright. You're not going to have the AP to hit us anyway, so that's fine. Damn, even with the... Three attacks. Fair play. How about no? God, you lucky son of a bitch. You'll get yours, don't worry. Like now. <laughs> this is so funny. Oh my god. <laughs> Every time. Every time that happens, it's a beautiful thing. It really is. Alright, good shot. Topaz. Line him up. Knock him down. You've gone exactly where I thought you were going to, but that's okay. He's on monk time. Which... And he's still on monk time. Unfortunately. You're on dead time. As are you at this rate. Fantastic hitting. Up you go. Cool, get there. Slam, cheeky, lock that one down. Go uh, surround this guy. He won't know what hit him. Unless he does some crazy super mega ultra swing around and kills us all, which he very well could. You have a knife? You don't have a knife. All right, that's about to break. So you know what? Switch to the knife. Get in there. Let's see if I can pilfer me some stuff. You have a knife as well. Can you stab him? Oh yeah, hell yeah. Don't mind if I do. Ooh. Also, he's stunned. Uh, Ryder, you don't have a knife, so to be honest, just leave. It's all right. Uh, I think we've got enough people in there doing the stabbing. Oh, yeah. Okay, can someone finish it off? That was quite a low chance, to be fair. When are you going next? 17, 14, 15. Right, you guys have all got... If, if you all miss him, then you deserve to get hit by that hammer. I'm just saying... The three of you have got a chance to kill him now. If you all miss six attacks in total, one of you is going to get clocked, but you actually will deserve it. Okay, going to kill him on the first one. Good job. I respect that. I don't think we really took much damage. Um, zero, 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 zero. Nine, Cheeky took 97. Uh, Jumafist took eight. Yeah. No, we leveled up because it wasn't a lot of experience. But hey, I'll take it. Also, cloth rolls I can sell. 100 crowns, which is quite decent. A another reinforced leather lamella armor, which is good, but it's a lot of fatigue for not the best amount. Also, food, which I'll always take. Okay. Did I get anything to heal with? The answer is a flat no. Am I now going to go balls to the walls and also try and take on this brigand leader in the situation we're in? Yeah, I think I am. Oh, yeah, that breaks so easily, doesn't it? I mean, I can fire it a little bit, but I can't fire it a ton. Not bad. Not bad. Show me a brigand leader. I want to see what he looks like. 
want to see what stuff he's got and whether he's going to beat the shit out of me. Oh, you know, both. That's not a brigand leader. That's Jen's Bloodbeard. That's a brigand leader and a half. You just stabbed him in the face. Yeah, you did. Surviving ain't messing about. He wants to survive. Well, hopefully. Well, that definitely got their attention because they are running in at full force over here. Hi. He is... He doesn't care. I was about to be like, oh, maybe he'll uh, be a little bit scared because we're just kind of going fully in. Nah, he doesn't give a shit. Well, at least one of them's got... Nice shot. At least the monk's got an eyes of bring the fuck. I thought he was a monk. I said at least he's got a heart because he's actually a little bit scared because all his friends are dying. Whereas you, buddy boy, you couldn't give a shit, could you? Right, I guess we're going to have to see where he ends up running to. Okay. That's all right. My question is, where are you going to go? Probably here, I imagine, because Ulrich's quite injured. Well, let's eyes him up, at least. Oh! Ow! Okay. Twelve. What now? Seven. Okay, you can you can switch to a different weapon next turn. Don't worry about it. Thirty-nine. Hey, none. Nice. Dead. She's... Hmm. Dead. Right, well, at least this time it's not a secret axe, because I know it's there. But is he going to try and run? I feel like he might. Can I, can I net him? Also, that furniture's in the way. Sort of surround him, but not, like, get into his range yet, if you get me. Oh, never mind. I... Whoops. Sorry. I really didn't mean to do that. That was my B. I find it a bit crazy that we didn't... He didn't even... He hasn't even, like, flinched. His morale is all happy and good. All his friends are dead, and he's still just happy to be here. Sorry. Oh, that's a lot of damage. It's okay. Okay, it's less okay. Oh, that furniture is doing him a favor, actually. Right, net the bastard. You want to fight with an axe? I'll give you a fight with an axe, you big fuck. How about... Oh, no, wait. Hold that thought. Oh, she almost got her revenge. Eh, Tallyman will finish it off. Sorry, the Tallyman, the sergeant. Put some... Put something on his name. I haven't seen Alpine's face in a while. I'm glad it's still connected to the rest of her body. Jesus. Not a lot of experience. Did I at least get the axe? Are you kidding me? I killed that brigand leader and he didn't drop anything. I mean, I got this salt, I guess, which is what I'm feeling right now. But I didn't get anything from that brigand leader at all. Man, that's the only reason I went in there. This is what, this is what I was saying like last episode when I was like, we're not leveling up to the level of the difficulty creep, but also... The game just isn't dropping equipment like it usually does. We're just getting super unlucky. Also, scared. In terms of his character, shouldn't really be, but hey, that's just the way it goes. Back to six and a half grand, um, which is kind of what we started on, to be honest. But let me just sell that. That's worth 33, so I'm not selling that. Let me just sell the rest of the stuff we've got, which I'm not going to be utilizing. Okay, back up to almost 10 grand, but I now need to get supplies. So it's not going to be... Picture perfect. Oh, God. It's so expensive. Tools are so expensive here. Uh, anything worth buying in the cheaper options? Nah, not really. There's a nice little thrill thing here, which I'm kind of into, but not really. How much do we need to heal for? Broken arm, pierced leg muscle. Well, I've got stuff for it now. Everyone's a little bit better. Place all Nightmare Covenant and Hills to the East. That's where all the Necro Savant Lords are, so... <laughs> no. Be seen corpses, hidden off the way on the road some way west of Konigsheim. Don't know what the locals call it. West of Konigsheim, you say? Interesting. And then an orc war camp, where's that? Grotto of the Wild Men. Someone in the inn in the last place we talked to actually discussed this place. It's not a lot of money, though, so I don't know what's going to be there. And there's something west of Konigsheim, which is where we are now. So there's something this way. Interesting. Well, let's heal up, because uh, we do need a bit of recovery. God. You are so, like, messed up. How much do I need? A hundred and... How am I ever getting out of this deficit? And Cheeky cut his arm while training, because of course he did. We, reco we we fix one injury, and someone else gives himself another one, because we need that right now. 
Ah, uh, mercy me. What's that? Heal two to four days. At least it's treated now. Um, what's that going to be? Heal one to two days. Horse, what's yours? One to three days. Jesus. Right, well, what I might do is then, let me have a quick look here. Can I get... Where's this blacksmith tools? What do I need? Field repair. I need someone who takes the field repairs perk. Just because it repairs stuff faster. And also it repairs all armor and shields that are worn by many if they're broken or lost. Saying that, it might be better for the weird kid. Maybe. Oh, but I might not get the weird kid because the, the reason to get that kid is to have a heart. And apparently the cultists don't have one. So, there is that. Ah, my, my, my beloved. It's not going to happen anytime soon, isn't it? And yeah, it... I'm pretty sure strongholds used to be 10,000 crowns, but now they're only 5,000 crowns. So we can actually build one now, but we only have like 7,000 crowns. So if we're going to build one, I'd like to have over 10 grand. But I don't know if building a stronghold should be like our priority right now. I think our priority is just getting renowned to 2250 and just getting better weapons in general. Don't get me wrong, I could build a weaponsmith in the stronghold, but that'll end up costing like 20 grand anyway. So by the time we got that, we could just buy better stuff you know also i don't want to build um one here anyway it was like a lot of people have discussed like sort of this area here or some people have also talk talked about like building one like in the wilds maybe like here so then we've got like an outpost where we can keep going back to and then going out into the wilds which is not a bad idea i don't hate it and then maybe a path will like go all the way to like eichendorf there's this there's like ideas being thrown around you know so i guess we'll see which one sticks the most but i don't expect to be doing it like today where's this actually going Mork top. Am I going to risk it? I mean, five grand is amazing. But it is. So it's five days away. How much do we cost? 500? So it would, we'd only get two and a half grand, really. Ah, oh, fuck it. Why not? Best of luck, people. <laughs> See you on the other side. Also, once again, I would camp and, like, do training. But it slows the caravan to, like, a crawl. And we kind of want to get there as quickly as possible. Also, we can keep up with the supply caravan. We can have, like, numbers. No! Go away. Go away. Thank you. Respect the nature of things. It's still there! Don't think I can't see you down there, you little bastard. Okay, so whilst on the road, someone random has joined us. They are fragile, but they are ambitious. What's your abilities? Axe mastery, cleave mastery, daggers, and swords. I don't think I'm really going to have much use for you. I don't think there's anyone on the list who um, would work with Esther. Let me have a quick look. Um, female who can use axes and swords and jazz. Uh, on, the, on the downside, if I can't find anyone, I can just keep her in the back line and sacrifice her as soon as the um, event appears, I guess. So, Lundborn former priest, no. Houndmaster, no. Beggar slinger, no. Minstrel, no. Crespo handgun juggler, no. Military background, male, no. Wild woman, cleaver hammer, no. It's not a wild woman. Uh, yeah, no, she doesn't fit any of the people who are on the list currently, unfortunately. So it is what it is in that regard. So I guess I'm going to just keep her in the back line. And when it comes for the next sacrifice event, es Esther, not Esther. You know what, I'm just going to rename that because I prefer Esther. We'll be going to see... Death call. The game is really lagging out. Like, it's 2 FPS in me every now and then. I don't know why. My, get, my computer should not be struggling with Battle Brothers. It should not be. And Ryder's got a severe concussion because, um, his Spartan ways. It's only a low chance when that actually happens, you know, when the whole Spartan thing, I'll sell that, doesn't affect you. Unluckiest bastards ever. Should have called you the unlucky bastards, not the bellends. God. Right, let me buy some stuff out here. It is going to put me down a little bit, but hey, it is what it is. There's no point looking at people because we're at full at the moment. Harold's drunk. Fair dues. How bad is the concussion? How long is that going to last? I, I mean, I just bought supplies, so you should actually heal now on the road, hopefully. What a palaver, right? Okay, I don't want to jinx it, but we're almost there. Almost there. And nothing... But Wait. Hmm. No. Back the F off. Just want... Just let my brothers and sisters have an easy life for the start of this. 
Just give me my five grand with no recompense, please. Man, the orcs and the greenskins in general are really screwing up the north around here. Oh my god, we made it. We made it. Oh my god, that's a lot of experience. Am I about to look at the uh, the character list and it's going to be zany as hell? <laughs> everyone level, almost everyone leveled up. Everyone leveled up except Pointy, who's 450 XP off, and Horst, who's also 450 XP off. Okay, sorry to all the people who do not like watching the level ups. Feel free to skip this bit, but I, knew that, I know that a lot of people watching this enjoy watching me do the level ups. So, let's get cracking on with this, because it might take me a hot minute. I've got to level up, like, what, 19 people? Riders missed the Mr. Concussion, but that's alright. I'll give you a plus 2 there. Let's give you a plus 5 there. When you eventually do convert, and hopefully it's soon, I can actually make this work. Obviously, these look quite bad now because of your <laughs> severe concussion. Maybe uh, don't do that next time. You, you're training. You know, just a consideration. I am actually going to do woodworking because we can actually make some money on the side while camping, and it will make quite a big difference, I believe. Jimothus, good job. Not great on that. Plus three I'll take. Plus five I will take. And plus four I'll take as well. Um, I could actually probably think about giving you a hood now, because then it'll be... You'll go up to, like, 28 and 19. I might also... do a repair thing for you. Because I really could do with the blacksmith, um... sort of, like, follower. So maybe I do this with Jimothus. Maybe he becomes... Which one do I need to get? There's a specific perk I need to unlock it in this area. Blacksmith tools... Field repairs. So if I go to our gym of this, field repairs is at the bottom here, isn't it? Yes. And I think I might get it just to make things a little bit speedier, because because repairing outside of camp takes forever, so it's quite dangerous now. 74, 28, that's pretty good. Because, see, your melee defense is crazy good, but the game still continues to beat the shit out of you, and I just don't know why. <laughs> okay, there's a, there is a mace one here. Using the mace tags that stuns the target or again stunned, do at least 5 damage, have a chance to inflict a guaranteed injury. If damage was already sufficient to inflict an injury, inflicts it. Yeah, fine. I'm happy with that. Also, oh god, that's terrible. Fine. Uh, plus 4, plus 5. Let's keep going on with that. I guess I will be giving you muscularity when we get there. When we get there. I might give you berserk. Actually, double strike with that axe would be better. Although, if you eventually get. The one-handed, the one, the axe where I can only do one attack, then double strike won't do as well. Unless I specifically try and find one of these axes, but as a famed item for you, I think that could actually be quite good. I have that already to do berserk and be done with it. You know what? No, I'm gonna bet it on double strike. I'm gonna try my best. Cheeky, welcome to level eight, eight seven, twenty five ain't bad. And also, obviously, I'm gonna have to put up everyone's fatigue as much as possible now because, damn. Call is also fantastic. When using axes, hits to the head will instantly kill a target whose remaining hit points after the attacker below 33. Decapitates, ignores nine lives, does not work if it has steel brow. But you will basically kill most things if you hit them in the head. So please start hitting them in the head. 92 is also great. I don't want to take a plus one, I'm sorry. I will take a plus four, and I'll take a plus... Mm, fine. Let's put up your resolve a little bit. Is there a way to increase your melee defense at all? Technically, yes, but it would only go up to, like, it would only go up by five, but it would help. Yeah, I don't know. You know what? I'm actually going to go back. Oh, actually, saying that, what's your... So, 34, 44. So, then that would be, what, 12? So, then you'd have 89. I mean, maybe Brawny's the way to go. I mean, to be fair, when you eventually go two-handed, you'll get probably a bit of fatigue back anyway. Maybe, maybe we then go Sanguinary now. No, no, we go brawny now, just so you get a bit of fatigue back. Boy, 91 is quite good, actually. And then we'll go sanguinary next, because then you'll actually start going up in resolve every time you basically make people bleed. And then we'll see how this goes. I think maybe muscularity, or maybe something to do with bleeding. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of undecided. Uh, Raven, let's see how you're doing that. Oh, boo, straight away. Not even, I don't even have to think about that. I really don't. And then, I don't know. I guess I could put up your defense a bit, but I don't really know if it matters anymore. We've got to a point where if you get hit, you're probably going to die. So I guess I'll just pump that up. 72 and 74 is pretty decent. As for what I can give you for what you've got currently, I don't know. I'm just going to go bags and belts. It gives you a bit of fatigue back and also you can carry more things. I think I think that's pretty straightforward. Herald the Herald, I'm actually surprised you're at that level. That 
kind of rhyme, but not quite. That was like a half rhyme. Um, your f oh God, your resolve is terrible. Um, but you are mad, so I don't think it'll impact you as much as I think it will. Put that up. 45, because the initiative does impact that now. I guess I could go Carter. Carter is quite decent. Or I could go Unstoppable, because then that would increase your melee attack, 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 attack. AoE attacks lower the melee skill of any target hit by one turn. That's not terrible either, I guess. So let me have a look at Carter. So variable AP and fatigue cost. Immediately after success, uh, a successful attack allows you to move one tile ignoring zone of control with reduced action point cost. However, the target tile for the movement must be adjacent to an enemy. The action point cost is two less than the movement cost of your current tile. Fatigue cost is equal to the movement cost of your current tile. Sure. Why not? Let's do a bit of cartering. And then Daemonix, welcome to the high 70s, which is really good. Um, I'll give you plus 4 on that as well, and I'll give you plus 5 on that. Do you have rotation? You do. I might give you rotation. Although heavy projectiles is good, ranged attacks from slings will stun the target on a hit to the head and apply dazed on a hit to the body. If the target is immune to stun, hits to the head, apply dazed. Oh, what do I want? Oh, you know what? Heavy projectiles now, and 150 experience, I'll give you rotation. I think that'll be quite good. So that way, you're going to stun every time you hit to the head, and you've got a 45% chance to hit to the head. I'm quite happy with that. 75, 95, and 141. I'm happy with that. Crossbow and firearm mastery. Straightforward. Surviving. Whew, 82. Very good. Plus 2 I'm not taking. Plus 5 I'll take, and uh, plus 4 I'll take. What do we have here? Utilitarian, what do you have? Minus 22, minus 29. What's that? Minus 15. I mean... For every two points of above, you gain 1% melee damage, but the other bonus is dropped by one and can have negative high enough armor fatigue. That sounds quite dangerous then. I guess I could come over here and go pole arm. When wielding a pole arm, enemies within two tiles are considered surrounded by. Yep, done. Absolutely done. Long reach is fantastic. Lyrian, welcome to level 9. Man. Like, yeah, welcome to level 9. Look at this. I really need to make you a cultist so then we can bump that up but i don't think that's gonna happen anytime soon bump up to plus five i don't really know what to do with you now to be honest when wielding a staff perform a three attack against anyone who misses an attack against you this three attack is a minus 20 to hit it applies baffle it's basically like a three repost interesting uh, yeah i'll go whack a smack and then i think for the last two perks or three perks or whatever i will go more into like the loot based stuff tallyman welcome to level 10 i think you're our highest level so far uh yeah yeah, our first double digits. That's nice. Three is not great, but I'm going to take it. Uh, oh, man. Three is also... Actually, three is not bad, to be fair. Fourth, but when you see fours and fives, you know. I guess I'll go plus three just to keep you alive for a bit longer if you end up in the front lines. Plus two kind of sucks. So I guess I will just give you some health. And then let's see what we can do. Once again, long reach would be fantastic. It would be really useful. Although Intimidate would also be quite good, but it feels like someone else has got Intimidate, and it doesn't really seem to work that well. Attacks and pole arms hit almost reduces the resolve of a target by stacking 10% of your melee skill. So it would be like 9. Who else has got it? I'm pretty sure someone else has got it. You've got it. And then have you got it as well? You do. Everyone has it. Okay, well I might as well just do the whole trifecta. Why not? Although I'm not, I haven't really made it see anyone run away yet. Maybe they've like almost like flagged and gone, but I haven't noticed it making an insane difference. Maybe I'm just blind. And then you know what? I'm actually gonna go Rising Star. Gain two perk points upon completing your next five levels after picking this perk. So at level 14, you'll get two perk points. Um, and also your experience gain will go up for 20% up to level 14, then 5% after that. Yep. Yeah. Uber is on the fast track, baby. Sparkus 67. It's fine. I'll give you a plus five in that. I'll give you a plus four in that. That's... It's okay. It's okay. Anything crossbow-wise? Not really. That damage from ranged attack is increased by 2% per the tile the target is far from you. And this can shoot what? Six? So then... You get 12% more, which would then be like... Four? Am I reading that? Am I, am I reading that correctly? I feel like I am. And I don't really know if that really makes a difference. I don't think it does. So I think I'm going to use a, a lower one here. I guess I'll just go patience for the time being, just so you get it for not moving. So when we're entrenched, it'll go kind of nuts. I'm not taking a plus one. I'm sorry. I'll take that, though. 
I'll take a plus four there so you get up into the 80s, and I'll take a plus four there. Just general defense for poker will be fine. And then, you know what? I am actually going to pick rotation. I think we're finally going to get some rotation in, because we haven't got a single person with it, and I feel like it's not the thing that's killing us, but it's not exactly, you know, it would be helpful to have. Uh, take a plus three here. Oh, bow mastery. Fantastic. Did you level up twice? Shit, he leveled up twice. Okay, well, hold the phone. Fine, I'll take a plus two. I normally wouldn't, but I'll take a plus five as well. Um, sick. Good job. Like, fantastic job. Primal Fear would be interesting, but eh. Uh, double Strike is melee attack, so it doesn't really work that well. Crossbow and Firearms. Footwork could be... You know what? Footwork. Just to make sure you can get out when you need to get out. I just forgot to level five. You're a random person. Am I going to level her up for a laugh? Maybe I will. Just for a laugh, though. Oh, Ben leveled up twice as well. Um, but he rolled plus one on his melee defense each time, which unfortunately really sucks. So I'm going to have to try and balance it out with other things. How's it now? It's okay. 69's all right, but 20 melee defense isn't fantastic. Do you have shield expert? You don't. You do not. I can get you to Battleforge, though, so that'd be quite good. Okay, this is what I'm actually going to do. I'm going to do a road... Well... Hmm. Initiative maximum fatigue, that'd be like 69, and then 91, and then 44. You know what, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do rotation, and I'm going to do battle forged. There we go. So at least you can protect your brothers more. Am I doing this for a laugh? Maybe I will. I I, I didn't really get any good rolls on that. I don't think I changed anything. She's got a shit ton of fatigue, to be fair to her, but it's not really going to do her any favors. Uh, so have fun sitting in the background, Esther, and just get ready to get sacrificed, basically. Okay, is there anything in the Weaponsmith that's actually quite cheap that I could buy that's better than what we've got? I mean, weirdly, not really. Shovels, crap butcher cleavers, pikes, but we've got loads of... No! Everything in here is worse. This is like the worst Weaponsmith I've ever seen. God damn. What is this? Okay. Right, well... Apparently everything's well supplied, but I'm kind of doubting it, honestly. Uh, let me buy that, that's cheap. I'll buy those as well. I'll just stock up. Right, run eight grand. That's alright. Is there anything on the cheap here in the market? Also, no, they've got bill hooked blades, but I need, like, the better... I think they're just called bill hooks, I think. They're the better versions. What have we got? End of the Nightmare? No. Dry off Barbarians? Maybe. Marauding Greenskins? What are these two like? What's the current situation with this? 2,600. Is it going to be rough? It probably is. Marauding Greenskins. What's this going on with? 2,900. Assistad. That's the, uh, Assistad, should I say. That's here, right? Hmm. It would be a good amount of money. What's my re renown now? 2,162. Oh, man, it's so close. So, I was on my way to go and help defend, I think it's Assistad, from the Orcs. But then these guys came up to Morktop and were like, oh, we're going to start a fight? And I was like... Alright, I guess I'll go and, go and chase you and see what you like. How many warriors is there? One, two, four? There's four of them. 26, 26. Five? I've got a better chance of hitting an invisible enemy to you. Really? Oh, God, wow. Well, here come the goblins, I guess. Oh, there's a... Mm. It's gonna be one of those days, is it? I say one of those days. It's almost the end of the episode. Gee, I wonder what's there. I just don't think the invisibility thing works that well, unfortunately. I get what they were going with it, but it's, uh, yeah, it, it's funny. It's funny that it just doesn't really work. And it makes me, makes me laugh. And then that's what's important about it. That big kahuna's gonna come in, but I think they're gonna be too far away, so... Get ready for that, because they're probably going over to Linus, I would imagine. We'll see. I think we maybe got two more fights today. We've got this fight, and then we've got the actual contract fight. We'll see how it goes. Right, well, Goblin's down. The wolf is not down. Just want to be a little bit careful there. But I can handle a dying wolf, I think. I'd like to think. Saying that, it definitely almost hit me. Don't send me to sleep. Don't you do it. Roll a 10. It's all right, someone will slap you awake. At least they're all hitting you as a group, so. Oh, well, all right. I'll take it. All right, wolf down. Fine. Fine game. I'll, I'll take it. God, that sucked. 
That, of course you go for my big kahuna. Wake our kid up. I don't think you're shooting. I don't think you're hitting anything. Can you imagine if you hit the shaman with that? That would have been hilarious. Oh, well. You guys running? You want to come and taste the metal from below? Or something? I know what I was trying to say there. It's probably fine. Follow up. Get ready. Okay. Good. Let the anger flow through you. Get up there. Right, we can sort of just glob up a bit now. That's not the technical term for it. But I know what I'm talking about, son. Right. Let's get some work done. And I mean... Gotta get to work. Oh, you can actually, you can actually stun them. Cool. I don't know why they actively want to put you to sleep in the endless night. Specifically. But they've got really they've got a real bugbear about it. But I am noticing. Alright, bit of eyes up here and there. Not bad. Not bad. At least he's just gonna whip his friends for a bit. Into a frenzy, they say. Oh man, that did nothing. That did something. Even hitting him to the head didn't really, uh... Oh, that was a 91 miss. Stop beating up my people, please. Piss! That was an 87. That would have been great. Hi! You rolled a 13. Sorry, I can't defend against that. Well, I kind of can, but not... Not that time. Nope. No chance. Rolled 100. <laughs> No chance. Go with this. We've got a job for you. We've got a job for you. Don't bleed out. It's a little thing, but... It's, it might take a bit of doing. Damn! That Ark Warrior wasn't shit to also. He just took him out to pastures new. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Try not to get too excited about it, but... He's surrounded by the three kahunas. Like, he ain't going anywhere, our kids. Right, who am I in? Nothing. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot the little gremlin guys there. Where's the other one? Yeah, okay. Daze me all you want. It's not gonna save you. Okay, not ideal, but it's, we've had worse. We're all right. It's okay. He rolled a one. Aw, oh, mate. Oh, of course you then hit Cheeky and... We were, we're actually doing quite well. So, of course you had to hit me with a six and hit me in the head. Love that for us. Uh, break him out. All right, you tried. Uh, break out. Break out. All right, do none of those things then. Uh, break out. Too tired? Too tired. Right, dead. Really better be as well. I mean, dazed. It's summer. Right, you're no longer beat up. Congratulations. Now, unfortunately, can't really shoot anything. Well, no, you still can't shoot anything. Surprise! This guy ain't running. As they definitely would at this point. Well, someone's flag just went down very quickly then, didn't it? Fuck's sake! Chance of five, roll the four. Ah, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Cheeky, time to go over there. What's your defense like now with the bees? Still 25. I mean, also being able to hit does help. Man, that armor's going to take a while. Right, you're out. Where are we at with the rest of this? 
out of ammo, beat up. I mean, might as well. At least it's hitting the guy with the armor. Although I kind of, you know, needed this armor to fight the actual group that we're going to go and fight. So that's a problem in itself. Uh, Raven can't pull that. I'm surprised they haven't just ran. To be honest, is that about to break? I really would like a new sling. Well, who needs one when you do that, eh? Good job. Nice one, Topaz. Now they're running. Right. Need to deal with that now. Oh! I say that's your repost, bro. Switch to that. To be fair. Oh, dear God, right. Right, running. Nice. You come down here. I think Austin's almost killed, like, two big kahunas today. Jim and Fist will clean up. You love to see it? You really do. Hiya. That's what I think about your repost, bro. Right, you hang fire. I don't want you to break that thing. Don't worry about it. Right, eyes up to the max. Not the max, but... Oh, of course. Leave me with something nice, do you? That's cute. Because if you hit three 50-50s. I mean, at this point, frankly, I'm not surprised. Piss off. All right. Here comes the problem, child. Honestly, you guys stay over there. Well, we got through it. Well, actually, I won't say anything just yet, because, uh, you know, there's still an Orc Warrior on the field. Okay, there's no longer an Orc Warrior on the field. Oh, good. Point he deserved that kill. He held it for so long. Okay, congratulations. We did it. So we can, you know, we can kill Orc Warriors, especially, and we can do it quite well, especially when we don't get hit by a six roll in the head. But, you know... Outside of that, I think we did pretty well. Didn't really get many great things. Sorry, I got some food, I got some tools, but... Oh, I also got a spiked in pillar, which can uh, apply knockback, so that's interesting. Right, I'm going to go sell this, this stuff at town and buy... Normally, I would just salvage them, but you don't really get that much salvage from this stuff. You get, like, one or two at the most. I need to really upgrade. I need to start buying some camp upgrades. Right, let me get back to Morktop. Let me sell some stuff. I did end up walking a bit far out to chase these guys away, but I do need to come down here. Let me do some recovery, and then I'll see, because I think we're at about the hour mark. We might end up doing this at the very start of the next episode. It's just been balls to the wall. Oh, yeah. Here you go. I was waiting for that. That actually helps quite a bit. So that guy just bought my basilisk feather, finally. And that's why you keep that stuff, folks. Also, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start keeping all this poison. Normally, I wouldn't, but honestly, it's been quite useful fighting the orcs, because it goes straight through their armor. So... Pretty handy. Right, that's the... I'm going to get enough food for two days. That's enough food for two days. You don't even have any tools. Ah, well then. You could have told me that before I did that. How many do I need? 79. Nice. And I've got 36. So, I guess I can go to the other place and see what's going on. Cheeky, you've got to cut cheek. It, <laughs> you've got to cut cheek E. Ha ha. Ha ha. Anyway. Let me go to Assistead. Let me just see what's going on. I might be able to recover a bit by then. Okay, tools are actually quite cheap here, so I think we're gonna... I don't want to say manage, but we'll see. We'll see. Have a drink. Nobody got drunk. Good. I don't need someone with a hangover right now. Okay, well, on the plus side, it looks like we are gonna have some company with the Tolvastad company. With this Tolvastad company, I should say. Which is great, because they've got a Warlord, an Elite, and a Behemoth, so I don't think we'll be taking this on by ourselves very well anyway and then that way it's going to push us over 10 grand because i can hand it in at astad and then we can get any recovery we can do here and then i guess i'm going to stay in the north for a little bit i might go and do like see if i can find some locations out here a bit in the hopes that we finally find some famed items we are now winning slightly so that's nice and uh i imagine it's not going to drag out for much longer because it started at, like day 80 so i wouldn't be surprised if green sea invasion ends in like i don't know 
14 day, maybe like day 125, maybe. We'll, if we get this done, we'll see if this pushes the book like forward into our direction a little bit and kind of go from there. We are getting better that uh, escort caravan actually did a massive help to us. We all like leveled up like crazy. I'm still leaving people in the training grounds quite a bit as well, just to sort of offset everything as well. So everyone's, mainly it's defense. Defense is the biggest issue, but we are getting some people who are now like almost with 50 melee defense. Although in some cases, it's still not really helping that much. Um, but yeah, so that's going all right. We've still got this Esther person who I'm sort of just leaving to get sacrificed in the next event because she doesn't fit the bill for any character on the list. And also, even at level five, this is just terrible so we can just leave her and sacrifice her um although maybe i shouldn't have in hindsight maybe i shouldn't have leveled her up because then she would have stayed as the lowest level character although i think she still is the lowest level character so that's okay i think should be all right i think it might be a choice between topaz and esther and obviously i'm going to pick esther anyway let's get on with a roll call and then we'll crack on with that fight at the very start of next episode so benjamin you're on 14 kills Geo Fisher on 43 kills Ulrich, you're on 25 kills also 14 Ryder, 6. Alpine, 59. Horse, 93. Not bad. Pointy, 80. Harold, 22. Daemonix, 14. We, I keep saying it, but we will get you a sling one day. But you seem to be doing absolutely fine without it. Um, Spartacus, 15. Surviving, 25. Lyrian, 35. I'll start using the loot a lot more next episode. The time I'm a sergeant, 96. So now, now pulling away is not a one difference anymore. There's now a three difference. Uber, 26. Uh, Raven, Raven, 42, Poker, 72, Linus, 3, Esther's here, and she's happy to be here, Topaz has got one kill now, which is good, and Cheeky is on 51, so we're getting there, and I feel like we're sort of, like, course correcting a bit, and hopefully when this late game crisis ends, we can then fully course correct and start getting some good stuff in preparation for late game crisis 2 electric boogaloo maybe we'll also do a camp event next episode because i'm aware i haven't done one in the last two episodes because it's just been green skins green skins green skins green skins green skins all the way down but we'll leave it there for today as always if you enjoyed this episode feel free to check out the rest of the channel show us more whatever you'll enjoy feel free to subscribe hit the notification bell so you know next time going out with the bell ends in battle brothers also it really helps the channel grow and get out there and it's always greatly appreciated also feel free to join the normal discord and get involved in the conversation as we do love a good Chinwag. Ciao for now, guys and girls. Until next time.